hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel to my instagram to my facebook whatever platform you are viewing this on um this is going to be a very emotional message as well as this is not for everyone this is very specific this is also for myself and god is just not releasing me to um speak about this message so one i want to say this is double restoration not just for you but also for your family because you stood in the gap because you stayed diligent to what god was telling you to do because you continue to intercede and um, be that beacon of light that God was asking you to be and so I'm going to tell about the prophetic dream first then I'm going to go into my experience and how God gave me this message um, a few months ago I had this dream that somebody that I know that was in my family had a snake inside of them now I didn't know this until afterwards but let me tell you what happened so in the dream I was led into this house and in this house that I was in I was like really like wavering back and forth like I could tell I was being attacked in the dream because I could not see it was blurry but I knew that everybody was watching me. They they knew that I was under attack. They knew that um, things were going on. And I, I could 100% say that they were also a part of the attacks as well. This is um, a, a message about family who are operating against you as well. Take it back to God because it's not, it's not for everybody. I've been running away from messages like this for a long time. But I have to be obedient to what God is saying. And so it may not be... You may not want to hear this, but sometimes it's the hard things that we reject to accept that are actually the things that God is saying. That's the reason why you're still stuck. So um, in this dream, it was family who was actually doing things against me to um, keep me under a spirit of slumber because in the dream i was like wavering around and i was like falling into things and i was i couldn't see my eyesight was very blurry it was a lot going on and so in this dream um this ends up running through this dark tunnel and i only know i had to run i only know that they had to run through the dark tunnel because i ran through the dark tunnel before them and so god is saying you're going to go before the people who are coming after you so that you can be able to help them get through what they're going through and so as they are going through the dark tunnel um they ended up being blinded by the lights they ended up being blinded by the things that were in the dark tunnel to actually give them light but how often do we go through things and god is trying to give us release he's trying to give us um restoration but we reject it because we're so used to being enslaved right and so instead of just using the light as what the light was supposed to do this person still ran out fearful like even in the darkness they were still light but that person couldn't see that because they were going through darkness right and so um also this is a person who's not really um who's walking up right with christ they're very young but they are they don't have a relationship with god at least not to my knowledge at least not to our family's history and so with that being said this person came after me and so i ran after them um after coming out of my confused state i ran after them and i was in their ear telling them that it's okay to be scared i know what you went through because i went through it i was like literally walking with them and i had my arm around them and um i was in their ear like he wasn't budging at first but i continued to speak i continued to speak then all of a sudden we were reading a bible and we were still walking and he was reading the scripture it wasn't specific specified i just know that whatever i was saying to him in his ear and the fact that i didn't give up it led him to go and actually try to read it himself right and so then after that we're walking and all of a sudden i'm talking to him with my arm around him and then this snake falls on the ground and so i'm looking around like what the heck the person wasn't even there anymore instead it was a snake and so i picked up the snake and i'm running to this place to where it says cpr and for whatever reason i know that this place is going to resurrect the snake why i do not know however i run to this place and i'm talking to them and i'm like can you please resurrect um can you do CPR on a snake and they was like we don't usually resurrect snakes but come on and so then they got to a point to where they were like it was like loading like a computer screen when something is downloading that's what it looked like and they were saying it's almost done and so as they were resurrecting the snake it never turned back into a person the next thing you know um me and a person were talking they were actually watching my videos and a lady was crying and she was saying how she felt the holy spirit moving and um at the time like i was i kind of felt very awkward because i knew that they were watching me they were watching me in my face while they were resurrecting the snake right while they were resurrecting the thing that was actually deceitful and operating against the will of god in my family's life right so um with this being said i felt kind of very shy right then this man comes up to me he grabs my hand and he says um he smells my hand and he says everybody's been talking about you so at this 
this point i yanked my hand back because it was giving very much pervert but it really was like the anointing oil you know how sometimes when when the woman anointed jesus with the oil it was so it was to allow the sweet fragrance to follow behind his death and so sometimes the aroma that's carrying you that you're carrying is not even just the aroma it's the holy spirit that's drawing people to you like literally and that's what god broke down to me in that dream and then after that um after the thing had completed i got up off of the ground and then i moved forward and god is saying as certain things break off of you it's also breaking off of your lineage because it broke off of you you were able to go back and help your family member um come out of what they were going through and it was definitely witchcraft attacks because i've I, in if i'm in any dream to where i can't see and i'm trying to fight and things are happening um god has shown me that that is very much witchcraft i am that is very much something that my family has is going to have to warfare against when the rest of them wake up How However, right now, um, I'm probably the only person who know about witchcraft and who even knows about what the effects of witchcraft is and what it does to you. And so um, I knew also in the house that I was in that they were people who did witchcraft. Um, the people who were in the room were also people who were um, a part of what was going on. So with that being said, when I broke the curse, thank you, Holy Spirit. When I broke the curse, I was able to go back and help my other I was able to go back, go back and help my family break the curse. And I broke the curse through the word of God. And so I don't know what person who's been going through witchcraft attacks. I don't know who has been continued because this is something that's continuous. Because when um my when the person who was running through that dark tunnel in my dream, I heard when I touched them, I heard it's in you, it's within your family lineage, bet on me. And I knew that that was the Holy Spirit speaking to that person. It's like when I touched them, I could feel everything that they were going through because it was something that was just generational somebody has been battling witchcraft for generations and they don't even know and that's why it's been so hard for you to get up that's why it's been so hard for you to move forward that's why it's been so hard for you to grasp your grip with your purpose with who god is calling you to be with walking upright in your faith that's why it's been so hard and god is saying through your faith you're going to not only heal others but you're going to be able to teach them about the kingdom of darkness you're going to be able to shed light on the things that i never pronounced for my children right that the enemy tried to speak over them right and so even lord jesus witchcraft is falling off of your bloodline whatever you've been doing keep doing it if you don't know what to do um look up witchcraft prayers look up deliverance prayers look up marine spirit prayers look up um tearing down ancestral altars prayers fast as much as you can whenever god leads you to it doesn't have to be um no crazy amount of days god will lead you according to what he wants you to do and how he wants you to do it um prayer pull it down pull it down continue to speak life over what you want to see and what god has declared continue to use your authority because it's only in your authority that things begin to flow according to god's will life and death lies in the power of your tongue not only that um also in that dream when i was getting up today i went to church and i caught the holy ghost at least two three it was a lot it was a it was a few times like i want to say like three three times and i was praying in tongues and at this point i was on the floor just shaking and praying and i don't even know i just know that i was really in the spirit and i was laying down and all of a sudden i just took this big gasp of air and i opened my eyes and it felt like literally god had breathed the breath of life inside of me and in the dream i didn't understand why i had went to get something else resurrected and then i ended up on the floor went to resurrect the things that the enemy tried to use against you so because i cast whatever spirit that was out of that person it broke it completely free off of my lineage i feel like my god is saying you got the last bit of residue and i've been listening to that song um no residue i don't know who was by y'all but i've been listening to that and singing that all week how when god makes you know he leaves no residue i didn't understand why i went to get something resurrected and i ended up on the floor and god is saying because when you did that i was able to breathe life into the things that was hindering the move of purpose in y'all's life and i say that because today when i went to the altar, altar call today when this happened to me um god was correcting me right and i was really just i'm coming out of an intense season of um just pruning and praying and, and um preparation right and so rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and i have been hearing that scripture for so long in certain areas i was rebelling against god and um although i was continuously trying my hardest to get up it felt impossible i was having dreams about the things that i was battling with so i knew that god was saying this is what's trying this is the spirit that is trying to attack you in the spirit um i've had dreams of people doing tarot readings on my um not gonna claim that i've had dreams i've had dreams of people looking up my 
my birth date that thing that goes with that that's not of god i've had that i'm not claiming that because i'm a child of god um the zodiac and i knew that there was somebody who was looking up aquarius readings like what's to come right and that all i can remember in the dream was seeing how each tarot card reading was saying aquarius aquarius abundance 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 and i woke up and i was like god i don't believe in it i don't believe in witchcraft i don't believe in tarot anymore i don't believe in these things so who is watching these things on me and god is saying and the reason why you were attacked the reason why your lineage has been under attack with witchcraft is because of what god has called over your life the reason why your lineage has been attacked with witchcraft for so long and for for as hard as it was it was because of what god was calling you into according to his destiny i went to church today y'all and i just was like you know what not even today like over these last two weeks i've been like really telling god get it out of me take it away whatever it is that's not of you get it out of me because i want you right and it's hard it's really hard and i was telling god like a few weeks ago i understand why our ancestors in the wilderness they didn't listen to the sound of voice right and that's hebrews chapter 4 i want to say and god was telling them like don't be stubborn like your ancestors and harden your hearts when you hear my voice they hardened their hearts out of stubbornness but i was telling god this is hard i understand why but i said god we got to go through it because i want you i don't want to live without you and like the spirit of witchcraft is broken off of your life the reason Reason why y'all your family lineage has been in rebellion from christ from the faith from their purpose is because the spirit of rebellion that was pronounced over your family's life so somebody needs to attack the spirit of rebellion somebody needs to attack what god is saying to do somebody needs to attack the spirit of rebellion in your life and somebody also needs to start warfaring against witchcraft against your lineage witchcraft against your family's purpose in christ right it's not just for me it's not just for you it's not just for mom or dad it's for everybody else Else, right when joseph broke free he went back to get his whole entire family when boaz found ruth he also redeemed her mother-in-law as well and so god is saying when you get restored your family is going to get restored so the reason why your family has been attacked for so long is because it's going to be double restoration it's going to be more than one resurrection it's going to be more than one thing that's going to be coming back to life in your family and although the enemy thought that he was going to use it against you god says romans 8 and 28 say everything works out for the good of those who love the lord and who are called according to his will right and so with that being said there is nothing under the sun that can stop the move of god in your life but it can delay it and so it's time for us to be to start educating ourselves on what powers of darkness is and i don't want people to get lost in the sauce do it in the measure that god calls you to because i know my limits i know when god is saying hey get away from that that's not what i'm calling you to do you're going too deep the things that i've learned is because of what god has called me into he's led me to people who can help me break things down he's even given me the things that i need to research it as far as books and things like that so with that being said never take your eyes off christ but also don't be in a blind fight don't be in a fight to where you don't know what the enemy is learn what the effects are of witchcraft and why you're experiencing it and what you're going through i don't want anybody to start feeling like oh my god i'm being under attack i'm under attack by witchcraft you're gonna know if this message is for is for you the spirit of witchcraft has been running heavy in your lineage for years and god is saying it stops with you and you're going to be the one to stand up you're going to be the elijah to stand up and say no it's not happening you're going to be the person to stand up and say i'm going to fight for my lineage i'm going to fight for what god has called me into and so well, all of those things being said, you guys understand that the spirit of witchcraft has fallen off of your family. I also want to say that the Python spirit is also connected to a spirit of divination. In Acts chapter 16, right, he cast that spirit out of her. She was telling things that was to come by the spirit of, um, by the Python spirit. And so that's connected to witchcraft and things like that. And so a lot of the thing, a lot of the reasons why God has kept our purpose hindered in a way is because some of us have things that are still connected to our lineage as well as ourselves that God wants to deliver us from. And I tell everybody, don't be afraid of deliverance because you don't know what you don't know when you've been in the world, right? That's the trick of the enemy. God says, my people perish from a lack of knowledge. So when God wants to take you through deliverance, surrender because you don't know what God could be doing. You don't know what he could be holding back because you don't want to pick up your feet and move. Um, the best thing that you could ever do is just let God lead you and let God show you what it is that he wants to deliver you from. But again, the spirit of witchcraft has fallen off of your family.